what's happening guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the Omni ROM based on Android 10 on this device. I have been using it for about two days now and here are my impressions. The ROM itself seems good enough if you go into the settings and about phone let me show you the Android version. Here we have the Android version as Android 10 of course and I have been using the dark theme let me just quickly disable the dark theme from here and I hope you can see it a bit better now and here the security patch is of latest February 5th 2020 the stock kernel over here is the immensity kernel and here is the build number let me go back let me show you in the system we also have a system operator so that you can check for updates from here and this is the 25th February 2020 build of this Omni ROM Android 10 best and here I would say the experience has been quite good not bad at all but there are some things which are missing which I'll talk about later on and I would say flashing procedure of this ROM is pretty simple you just need to be on the latest firmware and you need to have the latest stable orange box recovery installed once you have those things just flash the ROM file with the G apps and then you need the fcrypt disabler file if your storage is decrypted so that is pretty much it it is really simple so if you're coming from any other ROM just wipe cache Dalvik system data then like flash the ROM file and a gapps file I'll recommend you guys using the open gapps nano version and use the fcrypt disabler of course because otherwise your storage may get encrypted the stock launcher let me show you quickly this is how it looks like it has the google feed tab option well sometimes it gets a little bit buggy I would say and here we have the quick step launcher but let me show you on the home screen there is no double tap to sleep anywhere on the home screen feature that is simply missing to the left we have the google now cards once you enable that google now feed and if you scrolled up over here you get the app drawer of course and we also have this search app option we can search for any app from here as you can see the icons by default are like totally square ish as you were noticing on the whole UI the icons by default are like this kind of square ish feel it has you can swipe down anywhere to get the like quick settings panel and stuff and in the settings let me show you on the top you will see this omni gears that is where all the customizations are and if you go into this omni gears you will see this device feature option is there but if I click on it as you can see it, it just doesn't simply open so yeah that's how it is the first feature kind of thing is buggy and if you're going to style everything else will open and here we have the custom header image settings and this omni wallpapers option is there so that you can change it to like these kind of wallpapers let me go back and from here we have the themes option from here you can customize the theme by default you have this greenish color i have changed it to red and you can like make any theme from here as you would like yes you can of course change the icon shapes if you'd like and also from here we have the clock option then the grid and the normal wallpaper options let me go back from here and we have the button section and in here we have the music control then the advanced restart option is there so that like as you can see if you tap on restart right now you can see the directly rebooting to recover your fast boot options and then we have the long press for flashlight or torch and this long press for torch is working fine when the device is locked so that's not a problem you can set the recent style to omni switch or default android 10 let me go back to the bars and here we have the quick setting opacity control then the mobile data type and stuff then the double tap to sleep on the status bar is there as you can see and talking with the finger mid scanner let me show you from the always on display here i'm trying it unlocked let me do it again did not and it did unlock from the always on display now let's do it from the like lock screen unlocked let's do it with the left thumb unlocked the Fingbit scanner is pretty good, not bad at all on this ROM. And here I'll try it with the night light mode turned on from the always on display. Did not unlock, still did not. Now it did. Now let's do it from the like lock screen. As you can see, it did unlock with the night light turned on from the left thumb. And it did unlock. So, yeah, with the night light turned on, here the Fingbit scanner works fine. Now we also have the quick pull down from right left or always then the arrow key while typing and stuff then show rotation suggestions are there then we have the lock screen settings and here we have the double tap to sleep on the lock screen then disable power menu option is there in the lock screen too and this like media cover art and stuff blur and stuff is there nothing much like always unlock with the fingerprint scanner and stuff those things are simply not there 
and in the ambient display we have the show always on when charging and stuff then we have the light pulse color yes it does that pulse and you can turn on this show on always on display this like light pulsing thing the edge lighting simply will appear on the like always on display this is a really nice feature let me go back to the battery led kind of thing battery led customization is there whenever you are charging and stuff and then we have the weather settings if you want to customize that you can do that in the dialer we have the in call vibration options let me go back to the fingerprint and here we have the fingerprint authentication and here we have a really important and nice feature i would say you can select a custom image to your like fingerprint scanner let me show you by default it looks like this kind of accent colorish whatever accent color you are running and it looks like this circle on the always on display and if you're noticing the fingerprint scanner here we have a yellow kind of light by default as you just saw now let me select a picture from this select custom file and then i have like inserted this logo of my channel and here i'll just show you from the always on display and as you can see this logo shows up on the lock screen but you can like select any image over here and it should work pretty fine as you can see right now it did unlock now let's go to the system ui tuner there are like pretty interesting things in the quick setting we have the like drag handle and stuff battery in status bar transfer and status bar these kind of things are there let me go back we have this status bar option we have the headset blue that's icons over here and we also have the like do not disturb mode if you need that and the nav bar change the layout and stuff over here pretty cool if you're using the two or three button navigation and we also have this lock screen kind of customization where you can like enable this show charging watt and current temperature the battery temperature i mean and then lock status and stuff you can enable or disable these kind of interesting things i guess and if you go into mode we have the only remote i don't know what actually it does and then we have the network connectivity check and stuff in the battery settings this is how it looks like we have this battery percentage kind of enabling option and i would say the battery life is not too good but it's not bad either here are some screenshots for you i could get about six hours of screen on time with this rom so not a big problem i guess and it does support 18 watt fast charging too so you don't need to worry about that in the sound settings if you scroll down you will find the me audio dirac so yeah the sound output via the headphone jack and bluetooth as well is pretty great not bad at all then we have the screenshots are a sound disabling option but there is no three finger screenshot gesture option so if you want to take screenshot you have to add one toggle like this and you can take a screenshot just by tapping on that screenshot toggle and it will take a screenshot for you also one more thing that i want to mention here is that the always on display does have the like auto brightness and if i cover the top as you can see it just goes dim and when there is only one tube light turned on in the room the always on display kind of flickers so yeah that's kind of weird to see here and this is how the display settings looks like we have the brightness level then the night light option is there and of course it does work which i showed you already and the dark theme option is there and to change the accent colors you gotta go into the themes option and here we have the auto red screen and stuff and lock screen display we have the always on and new notification options for the lock screen display double tap to wake is there and it does work we also have this ambient display or like always on kind of thing let me decrease the brightness a little bit so that you can see it better and here we have the anti flicker mode too so the dc dimming option is there the stock camera over here is not that great it's just a snapdragon camera kind of as you can see this is how the settings panel or something looks like over here and i would say the camera is not that good and you can install like anx camera if you'd like i guess and the front camera and stuff does work as you can see from here the front camera actually works and even the sound and the led on the front camera does work so that's good and i have also installed the google camera 7 and this google camera 7 with all the lenses does work fine over here the daily driving performance over here is pretty good not that bad like all the widgets and stuff on the home screen is working fine google pay over here works right out of the box so you don't need to worry and here is the android score of this rom by the way you can play pubg on hdr and extreme settings over here the highest settings possible and i would say with daily driving performance and stuff the rom seems to be pretty great but i would say there are some bloatwares here and there we have in the like rom itself and we have this omni switch and stuff yeah there are plenty of apps like pre-installed kind of over here but the rom file size is pretty small it's like 600 mb about so yeah you definitely need a g apps to flash this rom again and this is how the stock in call ui looks like well the wi-fi calling and vaulty calling both works 
and there is no vaulty icon by the way over here i don't know why and there is no call recording option too so that's been it guys thank you so much for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is tito from carry and tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye, -bye now i somehow cracked the tempered glass on the k20 pro